What is up guys, it's Mr. Hero HD here, and no, I said I wasn't gonna record anything. First of all, I'm gonna apologize for what the fuck this is. I was at work all day, um, and I apologize. I know I said I wasn't gonna record any videos, and you guys probably don't care, but I just got back from seeing Fate of the Furious, or Fast 8, or F8, or whatever you wanna call it. Um, and I figured I'd give you my two cents, cause, you know, people might care what I think. Um, I just wanna, oh, well. Hello, microphone. I'm also going to try to edit this down. This might not come out right when the movie released. I'm recording this Friday. I saw it opening night. Um, I'm going to try... I'm just trying to fix something here. I'm going to try to cut all the rambling out because there will be a lot of rambling. And I'll try to keep it focused to like a couple of points. Um, before I get started, though, I just want to say that um, I went in with an open mind. Uh, I was I worked all day and I was like, well, I got nothing to do tonight, so I might as well go catch the movie. I and I work at uh, at a movie theater, um, you know, so I was there. I was like, might as well go. Um, I went in with an open mind. I knew it was gonna be dumb, but like at this point, you have to kind of accept that um, these movies are not made for their intelligence. But uh, I was like, oh, it's gonna be stupid, but whatever. It'll be fun. Um, be a fun watch. I guess, um, and I just went in with really low expectations. So like, let's get that out of the way. Uh, and I've been, watched every single Fast and Furious movie up to this point. The one I think I liked the least was Tokyo Drift because just because the effects really took me out of it. Um, I understand why people like it. It's just not my favorite. Um, the, my least favorite, my most favorite is the first one, uh, just because that had the most to me the most soul and like there was still a story in Shooty Shooty Bang Bang, but the cars were still just as important. Um, as the characters on screen. So, and I'm not a big movie guy either. I just, I'm voicing what I thought. Um, so, I'll go, I'll try to be as spoiler-free as I can. If I do end up seeing a spoiler, I'll just probably cut it out of the video. Um, so, there, the good, the good is that there are a lot of funny moments in the movie. Um, it's, it's got some, some stuff that'll make you giggle. Um, and definitely some stuff that'll make me smile. It wasn't soulless. Um, but uh, what was also good? A lot really good car design. Uh, every car that was on screen looked nice. Um, a, a lot of the practical effects were good. But I'm really disappointed. Like, I almost walked out halfway through that movie. Um... And I mean, and like I'm about, I forgot to say this at the beginning of the movie, but go see it, make your own opinion, or like if you don't think you're gonna like it, don't see it. I don't know. Um, I just think it's stupid that people form their opinion based on like, oh, this person said it was good, therefore it's probably good, or like, or Arrow said it was shit, therefore it's shit. I'm gonna like defend that it was shit. Um, go see it, make your own opinion, or just say so you haven't seen it, you don't know what to think yet, because like, these people saying, oh, it must be good everyone said I know said it was good so it must be good that's kind of silly though right um but anyway like I was saying I was really fucking disappointed by this movie and let me tell you why so the first quarter was what I expected it was dumb um and a lot of stuff didn't make sense but it was like well this is you know it's not an intellectual movie it's it's not for stupid people but like you kind of have to turn your brain off a little bit um and then the last three quarters was just none of this makes fucking sense like this is all stupid um so let's get off i'm gonna try to do as much as focused as i can i tried to rehearse on the drive home um, but my phone died i was trying to record it as i was driving home just so you guys can get right away um the main villain was fucking stupid um the re their reason for doing what they're doing kind of all right they kind of tied it in decently um, and like her motivation was cool, but like a lot of the stuff, her dialogue was just weird. Um, she went on like these big, like Confucius says, whatever shall be, shall be like, she just like, I need to have really big lines in the movie. And they just like, it was just words. It was just like, cool. Like you're just trying to sound smart. Like you didn't really say anything there. Um, Vin Diesel's acting wasn't great. Um, that was not a surprise. I knew that was going to happen. Um, what else? There was a lot of CG effects in the movie that looked not great. 
Um, some of them were good. Some of them were not good. Again, not enough to take me out of the movie. Um, what really pissed me off, again, was the, was the main villain. Uh, was not great. Uh, but I can forgive that. What really pissed me off, because it's a Fast and Furious movie, was a lot of the action sequences were fucking stupid. So if you watch the movie, um, again, I'm going to try not to spoil it, but the New York sequence altogether was fucking stupid. To me, altogether it was dumb. Um, I was laughing while I was watching. I was like, this is ridiculous. This doesn't make sense. This is impossible. Uh, there was a scene at the end where something happened. I was like, this is... you." It cannot happen. Um, and I don't know if knowing stuff about cars ruined that for me. Um, but I was like, this is literally impossible. Um, and there's a line in the movie where, like, how much horsepower does he got? 2,000, 3,000. They're all, like, actually pondering it. And, like, The Rock was fucking doing roids in this movie because he was way stronger than a human should be. Um, but uh, what the fuck else? Um, my main problem was a lot of the cars. A lot of the cars. The cars were not stars in this movie at all. Uh, the Charger um, that you guys have seen in my Mighty Car Mods and stuff videos, that was cool. Um, that had a major role to play uh, in the climax of the film. Um, uh, the, the car, I don't know what it was, but it was the car from the Havana scene in the beginning. That played a major role. That scene was fucking stupid, but like it was still cool to watch. Um, a lot of the other stuff was just so dumb and so over the top that I was like, I can't, I can't get behind this. Like, I'm just laughing. Um, but, uh, I'm kind of all over the board here. Jason Statham was actually surprisingly good. Um, The Rock was all right. Vin Diesel was just, didn't say much, honestly, and it's probably better that way. Um, but like really fucking disappointed. Um, just mostly about, like I said, the car stuff. There was barely any car stuff in it. There was, like, some scenes where... Oh, yeah, they made Roman look like a fucking idiot. And I don't mean, like, he said... They, like, he was supposed to be the comedy character because, duh, that's what he is. He's a comedy character, and I know this. Um, but, like, half of his comedy was just derived from him being just flat-out dumb. Um, which is not the Roman that I remember, I remember him being like, kind of like quick witted, um, you know, uh, prefers power over precision, um, kind of like a good compliment for at least from the, from the second movie. And then he did turn into a bit more of a jokey character, but he still wasn't like brain dead. Um, but my main complaint, and I guess I don't, it's hard to put it in the words. This didn't feel like a fast and furious movie at all. Um, there was one part where they're like, they all suit up and they all get in their cars and like, let's go team. They drive to the place and they all get out of their cars and start shooting and there's punchy punch and, and like, cool, I guess. But like, I don't know. It just didn't have the soul. And I was scared this was going to happen because the seventh movie was similar. Um, but that ending was just so, so good that it tied. It was like, oh, well I can forgive the rest of this movie, but the eighth, there's just no soul in that anymore. They're just milking a cash cow. There's no emotion in it that relates. There's a couple of like jokes and there's a couple of tiebacks into the other other movies. Uh, there was one at the end that was that caught me off guard. It was pretty funny, um, but just I don't know. Maybe I'll have to see it again. Maybe I have to sit on it for a night and and ponder it. But there was a. I don't remember what point it was, and I wouldn't ruin it anyway. But at the in the middle of the movie, where I was just like, "This is fucking dumb," and I like wanted to get out, get up, and walk out. I was furious. But um, again, it's really hard to to not um, to go into detail without spoiling anything. Just the things that I liked were there were some cool effects, there was some cool um, things that they did visually. Um, the we'll call it set design of the cars was great, but a lot of the action sequences were fucking stupid. Um, a lot of the, the plot was super dumb. Um, the villain had a decent motivation ish, but her dialogue was just so cliche and, and dumb and it wasn't good. It wasn't good. 
to me, it wasn't good. Like, again, you, you guys, probably when you're seeing this, you've already seen it, or you're planning to see it, and, like, I just, I just didn't like it at all. <laughs> it's a... They should have ended it with seven. You know, seven was like, all right, you guys are pushing it with what you can get away with, but because of that tribute at the end, sure, sure, I'll give it to you. But this was just silly. Um, and I hope you like dodges. <laughs> Is, uh, um, um, there's a lot, a lot of Dodges in this movie, um, sponsored by Dodge. So, like, that's just a nitpick. But, um, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments, I guess. Um, I think this stayed pretty spoiler-free. But uh, it's really hard to not get into detail without talking about spoilers. But, again, for me, it just, I couldn't get into it. Like, I really couldn't. Every, every time something happened on screen that was a little bit over the top of Zesty, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Remember when we thought shooting the car in Fast and Furious 1 and it blowing up was stupid? Like, this is a whole other level of dumb. Um, if I have to get it a rating out of 10, as an action movie, if we if we put the name, like, Vin Diesel and, 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 and Dwayne The Rock Johnson's big old car circle jerk, and we call it that, um, instead of... By the way, The Rock's basically the main character. They, they, they try to say that Dom is... No, 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 no. The Rock gets... To me, he gets way more screen time. He has way more dialogue. Um, but um, if you call it that instead of a Fast and Furious movie, a six, six and a half. Uh, but I was... Uh, I don't know what I was expecting. Um, I knew it was going to be dumb. But I was not ready for it to be d that dumb. Um, the chase scenes were okay. Some of them were like, oh, that's, you know, that's a cool thing they did because you can tell it was a practical effect. And then there is stuff like that you see in the trailer when the sub comes out of the fucking ice and you're just like, oh, God. Oh, God, why? <laughs> um, but, yeah, as a fast movie, it's hard for. Um, there wasn't a lot of redeeming qualities for me. Um, Tej and Ramsey just techno babble, techno babble, techno babble, techno babble. Well, Brock under the mainframe and hijacked the brr, 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 and like it's the, just saying words. Um... And Levy just felt useless. I don't know. I don't know. I might go try seeing it again. Because, like, I posted on Twitter, I'm like, Fast 8 sucked. And, like, five people were like, fuck yeah, this movie sucks ass. And, like, five people were like, you're fucking stupid, and this is why you're stupid. I mean, like, cool, you're entitled to your opinion, but I really don't see where you're coming from. It's just, I don't know, it's just so disappointing. And I'm just so upset. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> uh, but anyways, guys, I think I, I spoiled a lot of this video, uh, by talking to my coworkers and, 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 and going on Twitter. Um, uh, just going to look at my tweet and see if I forgot, uh, I forgot anything that I wrote. Um, initially I was trying to tweet through it, but the people next to me were fucking rude as shit and just kept talking and talking. And I was like, I feel like they're the kind of people that have pull up my phone. They're just going to yell at me. Um, no, I wrote, it was kind of a dumb story that there were really kind of dumb effects in the vehicle and there was vehicle inaccuracies. There's a lot of stuff with the cars that didn't make sense. There's some plot holes, like how did this happen? This shouldn't have happened. This couldn't have happened. Um, but I don't know, I guess if you can fully turn your brain off and like kind of detach the other movies, uh, it might stand alone. Okay. But to view it in a series of films, um, and as a sequel, it was kind of disappointing um but yeah go out see it um uh, you know make your own opinion of it i and i'd like to know in the in the comments the comments if people are asking me questions and stuff i'll spoil the fuck out of the, out of the movie in the comments so don't um i probably won't do that actually but you know just if you want to just go watch a movie and have fun and you don't want to think about you know too fast and furious and, and fast 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 and furious which is the fourth one i think but Vin Diesel said there is two more movies to go now to close this out. And, oh boy, he, he killed it. I think he killed the whole, the whole franchise by going, I want more money. Um, and the whole time I was watching it, I was just like, what the fuck would have Paul said about this? It's just, it's just silly. It's just ridiculous. But, again, I tried to wrap up this video like three times. But thanks, guys, for watching. 
Um, really want to know what you guys think about the movie in the comments. Try not to spoil anything. And yeah, take care. Peace.